If you have a VST, a ventricular septal defect, the oxygenated blood is going to go from the left to the right and that puts an enormous load on the right side of the heart because it's got this normal blood flow to deal with plus that of the shunt's blood flow. And the amount of blood going through the pulmonary circulation may be several times more than the amount going through the aorta. The other thing that happens sometimes in a patient with a VSD, with a ventricular septal defect, is that the patient can reverse their shunt. I told you previously that if you have congenital pulmonary stenosis, that will increase the pressure on the right side and the patient can reverse their shunt. But these patients, patients with a ventricular septal defect, because of the large pulmonary flow, may develop an obliterative arthritis of all the small vessels of the shunt and that increases the pressure on the right side and the patient can then reverse their shunt and then the patient who was previously not cyanosed and not blue can become so. This you will hear from time to time and is referred to as the Eisenmenger complex.